so here we're looking at um, open up for me tree diagrams without replacement and this is dependent the last one we did was independent now this is dependent in case you hear those words so here we've got Peter has 10 colored cubes in a bag three of the cubes are seven and blue uh, three of the cubes are red and seven are blue he removes a cube at random from the bag and notes the color but does not replace it so this is how it changes he then chooses a second cube at random record the information okay so we know we've got 10 we know we've got three that are red and then we've got seven that are blue okay so we know that that's going to be three out of ten and that's going to be seven out of ten but let's watch how this goes so you've got your first choice and you know the choices are between red and blue and we know that we're going to have a three out of ten and a seven out of ten now our second choice we're going to go straight into putting our red and our blue and our red and our blue now where this changes is we're not going to replace one of them so when we put our three out of ten here for the red we're going to say that we're not replacing one so how many are left there's none there's not there's not going to be 10 anymore okay so now we're going to reduce our numerator by one which becomes two and we're going to reduce our denominator by one which becomes nine now to know what to write for the red so we've decided that they're going to take the red out becomes two over nine so we reduce that by we then have to just complement that so we have to put what else, what, what fraction will, will equal one? Because this whole fraction has to equal one. Well, if it's two out of nine, I've then got to put seven out of nine. That's the other half that I have to put in. Okay. Um, so just remember that the two and the seven must equal, the, the, your, your whole fraction there must equal one. So now with this one, we're then going to say, well, then my blue is going to have to be reduced. So my blue is going to be 6 out of 9, okay? And if my blue is 6 out of 9, there it is there, I know that my red is going to have to be 3 out of 9 because the 6, because together this has to make one whole. So 3 and 6 will give me 9. So just to show you again, you um, start with the red, you reduce your numerator by 1 and your denominator by 1, and then you do the complement of it. So then whatever would be left over would be 7 out of 9. That becomes the blue. With this one, we reduce them both by 1. So 7 and 10, because we're not replacing it, that becomes 6 and 9. And then we do the complement of it on that side. And then we're going to then do our normal one. So we would go RR, which we read red. And that would give us 3 over 10 times 2 over 9 times that times that, which gives us 6 over 90. We're going to go red, blue. And we're going to get 21 over 90. We're going to have our blue red, 21 over 90, and our blue blue is 42 over 90. Okay, so this is what happens when you don't reduce it. Let's look at another one. Um, Rebecca has nine colored beads, four of the beads are black, the rest are green. So we start off straight away knowing we've got nine. We know that four out of nine are black, and we know then that five out of nine are green. She removes a bead, does not replace it. She then chooses a second bead, draw a tree. So let's see what the tree looks like. Okay, there we go. So we've got 4 over 9 and 4 over 9. We then reduce them both by 1. So we get 3 out of 8. And then we've got to do the complement. So we've got to do 5 over 8. So that equals 1. Okay. This one is 5 over 9. We take out the green. We reduce both those, the numerator and the denominator by 1. We get 4 over 8. And what is left is also 4 over 8. And then we times our, our numbers together. To calculate the probability that Rebecca chooses two green beads, um, there you've got green and green will be 20 over 72, and a black followed by a green, which gives you 20 over 72. Um, here is another example. So just let's have a look at this. She's got a box of 30 chocolates, so that's our total. 18 are milk, the rest are dark. Take So 18 out of 30 is where we begin. 12 out of 30 are the dark. Reduce them both by 1. Put the complement in and then times them along. And then you'll be able to answer the questions. I'm sure you'll be able to do this. Give it a try and come and speak to me about any problems you may have.